What is going on guys? So before I continue on, I do want to apologize this video is going up way later than I originally intend. That's only because if you guys saw when this was originally announced, this was back two, three weeks ago. And well, Halloween Harvey's 2022 was going on at the exact same time. And due to the insane release schedule with filming and editing, there was just no way I was going to be able to post this video while I was doing those Halloween horror reviews. So I wanted to wait until things had calmed down. And of course, I wanted to take a breather. So now that things have calmed down, I have to Took in a little bit of a breather myself. Now I just have to talk about probably the announcement that legitimately made me freak the fuck out. But with some, and I mean some heavy caution. For those of you who know me personally, one of my favorite games of all time, or actually to reiterate that, one of my favorite franchises of all time is Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2. I love this game so much. It's in my top three games of all time. And as a matter of fact, I might get a lot of shit for this, but I do enjoy this collection as much of a mess as it is. I was able to replay Silent Hill 2 and 3 mainly because of this collection. And even though it is a buggy mess with a lot of issues, but nonetheless, I do have a lot of fun with this collection. I love Silent Hill 2 so much. Silent Hill 2 is my favorite favorite horror game of all time and it's one of the few games out there that as a gentleman has given me nightmares like I will never forget the first time I actually got through a certain level I could not sleep like it actually affected me that much it has one of my favorite stories in a video game the gameplay is incredible although do not get me wrong with the the thing that's coming there could be some great quality of life improvements I love the storyline I love the psychological horror aspect I love Everything about Silent Hill 2 and the score in that game is one of my favorite scores. So as you all can probably imagine, when I heard the rumors of a Silent Hill 2 remake, I got very, very excited knowing that this classic gem would be remade from the ground up for a new generation. I got very excited, although I'm wondering why they couldn't do that for the original Silent Hill game. Nonetheless, though, guys, the idea alone that Silent Hill 2 would be remade for the ground up for new generations of consoles and for a new generation of gamers got me very excited. As you all can imagine, when the Silent Hill transmission from Konami happened and one of the first things, or actually, excuse me, the first thing that was announced was Silent Hill 2 Remake, I got very excited. And here's the thing, guys. I'm going to let you guys know right now. I am so fucking excited for this remake. I am so I'm there. I'm there day one. I'll be pre-ordering this thing. I'm going to get the highest edition possible because like I mentioned to you guys earlier, Silent Hill 2 is in my top three favorite games, period. Silent Hill 2 is just one of those games that hits you to your core. It shakes you up. It disturbs you and it leaves you thinking about it for years on afterward. When it comes to Silent Hill 2 Remake, everything that I've seen... I am loving so far, whether it's the art direction, the fidelity, the small little details and textures, how Silent Hill looks, the density of the fog, the creature designs, everything that we saw from that teaser I think looks absolutely phenomenal and there is even a smidge of gameplay which looked absolutely stunning. Now with that being said guys, let's get on to the reason why I am as excited as I am for this game, why I'm also very, and I mean very worried, and that's the development team. Silent Hill 2 Remake is being developed, remade from the ground up by Bloober Team. Now, if you guys don't know who Bloober Team is, Bloober Team is a developer. I believe they're based in Poland, if I remember correctly. If not, I'll put the actual place where they're from right here. They have made some games I really enjoy, like for example, Layers of Fear is really fucking good. I mean, there are times where it's actually quite frightening. And I've even heard some good things about Observer, to which I really should check out soon. But here's the thing, guys. There are two games from Blooper Team that I was very iffy on. One of them was Blair Witch, and Blair Witch was a game I could not wait to play. And while the game has phenomenal atmosphere and amazing sound design, the game itself I thought was just okay. However, when it comes to Blooper Team's most recent game, The Medium, this is the reason why I am very worried about Silent Hill 2 Remake. The medium, if you really look at it, it's a very Silent Hill-like game. I mean, 
the way how they go into another realm with some fucked up creature designs and the themes in it with everything going on psychologically in all the characters heads and the themes going on in the medium both games have such great parallels to one another except that here's the thing when it comes to the execution of one of those games it has done it perfectly the other one not so much. Before I continue on, I do want to clarify something to you all. I don't think that Bluebird Team is a bad developer. In fact, like I mentioned, there are some things that I thought were really, really cool. Like Layers of Fear, I thought was a great game. There are times when Layers of Fear actually freaked the fuck out of me. And I have seen some great gameplay from the Observer or from Observer. And everyone has told me I need to get back into it. And I do have it on P PlayStation, so I should guess I should check it out. But here's the thing, guys. When it comes to Bluebird Team's most recent game, which like I mentioned earlier, Blair Witch and The Medium, I personally wasn't the biggest fan of those games. I love Silent Hill 2 and I actually do think that this game is worthy of, of a remake, but at the same time, knowing the developer of the game, Bluber Team, I am very worried. But otherwise, guys, I am very excited to see Sound Hill 2 Remake when it finally comes out. I don't know when it comes out. The game looks gorgeous from the footage that I did see of the game. And I'm very excited to see Sound Hill 2 Remake and to play the game once it does come out with my cautious side. But I am very excited to see how Bluebird Team does with remaking Sound Hill 2 from the ground up. So comment down below and let me know what do you guys think of the Sound Hill 2 remake of what we've seen so far. Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'm also on Snapchat. So if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links in the nearest names are in the description below. That's going to wrap it up on my thoughts on the Sound Hill 2 remake. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, please hit that like button. Also subscribe and don't forget that notification bell for my latest review or video goes live. If you guys want to see my previous two reviews or videos, please click on the right there or right there. And of course, until my next review or video goes live, I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, guys.